What's going on, everybody? So, we're moving back into some more trim cards that are appearing up. Yes, on PWCC's website. Yes, they are graded by PSA, which really starts making me think that somewhere along the way, somebody had to be in on this with PSA. Not too sure. I mean, there could be a variance allowed after talking with um, Eric from GMG last Friday night uh, when we did the overtime. Uh, there is a variance that's allowed, but with this one here, I'm really, really curious on to it. So without going any further, let's get this thing up. All right, so as you guys can see right here, someone's setting a bench of trimmed PSA 10 Quahi uh, Leonard uh, rookie card autos into the vault. The guy didn't want to bet them all, so he just started with the most expensive one to show this. And this is just... Let me pull it up here. So as you guys can see, it's kind of hard to read it on here, but it's 8 out of 25, 8 out of 25. Um, it, They did a good job on this because if you notice right down here, below the 25, that little dot, look at the space there, and then over onto this side, there's a difference there. If you look here at this little uh, like kind of triangle, Look at the tip of the triangle down on this one here, off. The other part is, when you look here on this preferred, they had like these little diagonal cuts into it. You can see the difference between the, I don't know what you want to call it, the thread looking piece there, here, and here. This has like part of one. This is like almost bringing up a full piece there in a way. So, being the same exact card, serial number and everything, it was trimmed. So... Be on the lookout because I, I just caught this one late last night, but this was posted on the 21st, and a lot of the cards that he was looking at being butchered went on sale that night or on auction or something like that. So if you bought one off of PWCC here this week, I would probably try to come out in his blowout form and ask him if um, this was one of the ones he was looking at. That way you'll know ahead of time if you just picked up a trim card. These guys are phenomenal at what they do. Phenomenal. Um, there was one comment in here which I wanted to look at. Well, this is where they talk about when you open these packs and boxes up before they all had dinked edges and corners. There was no way you were really going to gem mint. Just like Upper Deck Black and Exquisite, very, very hard to gem them. I mean, when you're seeing like eight fives and nines from Beckett, that's probably where you're going to be at with them because the edges and corners were just so dinged on those. It was horrible. But there was another one here where um, they were talking about looking, they looked up the cert or something, and they were trying to pinpoint it to if it was one of the guys who were the trim card thing. I'm not sure. I thought I read it on here. I could be wrong, though. But be on the lookout for stuff like this. And I'm going to keep labeling these on videos. So hopefully, if you guys ever have a question, you can just type in the scammer part onto it. Like put in Kawahi Leonard um, trim card or something. That way, at least you guys have a certain number and be able to reference. It was serial numbered uh, 8 out of 25. 8 out of 25. So pretty quick video on this. But I wanted to get a couple of these knocked out throughout the week so that... Everybody is aware the stuff is still out there. Be careful on what you buy. Don't ever trust the grade on the stuff. Um, especially on a lot of this stuff. Unless you know that person submitted it. You know, it's starting to get really in, again into the questionable error on buying stuff. But just one of the ones out there that somebody used the old slice and dice on to and altered a card. I'm sure, I think they said PWCC pulled the card now out of the vault somewhere down below. And more than likely, they'll send it back to PSA, and PSA will uh, do something where it's like, I forget what it's called, it's like PSA reviewed or something. P grade reviewed by PSA. So they'll relist it as that. To show, yes, this is still a 10. Now, I, like I said, I'm not too sure. This might be falling in that real gray area of measurements on cars of what you're allowed with a variance because of uh, if you really break it down, a lot of the cards don't always match up when they're being cut. 
It's just something you'll see over time that's very minute. So I don't know if that's falling into this, but this here having one, two, three trimmed edges should definitely probably not fall in that variance. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good rest of the week. I got a couple more videos coming out this week for everybody. See y'all later.